Hello my soccer universe to another collection video and I thought the fact that Scotland and Norway are playing in the same group like they did at the World Cup in 98 is a good sign to actually look at this Scotland jersey, the Norway jersey from the same World Cup we already looked at. Now when they played in the group uh, Scotland were not wearing their home jersey that we're looking at but their uh, away jersey which also was already introduced in 98. Um, as always we first talk about how did this jersey end up in my collection but uh, honestly there's not a big story behind it I don't now remember exactly when I got it I want to say it was probably uh, around 2020 21 where I was trying to build up my collection for the euros the ones that were then postponed due to covid to get uh, you know for every participating nation a jersey however I always want to have a Scotland jersey because uh, and now there will cause probably some controversy but among the home nations I always liked Scotland best because of their great color scheme although I realized that England has the same one reverted in a way but I, I always really enjoyed Scotland uh, for that simple reason and the Scotland shirt has been ever since I got on this YouTube journey a Scotland jersey has always been relatively high on my list and it was always the question which one will it be and it was very quick if I have to go through uh, Will Haben there's one Scotland jersey that very reliably pops up and that was the 98 one and then uh, I saw one that was hanging hang around until it was not any anymore but when this one popped for I wanna say it was 30 euros or something like that I just said let's go for it and let's buy it and it has been my go-to Scotland jersey ever since with it being the only one but I actually have been wearing this also a lot because I really really enjoy it and I think let's look at a few more details of this particular shirt. So this is the last ever Umbro shirt for Scotland. They then went to Fila and Scotland went down the drain in a way. Uh, the standout feature of this one is either, as you would like, the very nice uh, floppy collar or these horizontal bands, which are actually quite interesting because there's some texture to it. If you look at it a little bit closer, there's this band and there is a much more texture one. There's another one. So I find it's a very interesting um, effect to it it's all centralized we have uh umbro of course written and then the scottish crest uh, on top of a tartan pattern which makes the lion rampant maybe uh, a little bit too small to to to, to be honest but i have, have to say i really like the way it is it, it's a very unique shape uh and you know the scottish football association this is how the logo looked like for most of the time and i have to say i really like it of course now i could have looked up uh which clan the tartan pattern is associated with i have no idea uh to be honest but i have to, have to say i always liked the way this looked over, over overall and especially with the tartan pattern this uh looks really 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 nice it's overall a very pleasing shirt the tartan pattern also shows up here around the collar and i like that it's sold a, a dark pattern and then along the sleeve curves as well if you look closer there's also the tartan pattern after this white out and i have to say it's a very very stylish shirt um that you can tell it's a little bit beaten up because you know uh only football that tag is almost gone uh but then the only scotland tag here does it very nicely and then uh the umbra tag also very pristine and as you can tell there are some dots maybe tell there are, are some dots there is one thing it's a favorite shirt of mine but there's one thing that really bugs me and what bugs me is that the color although i really like the pattern but because this is a slightly different ma ma material the color tends when, when you wear it to crease up like this and it doesn't stay flat that's maybe the one thing that i don't like about this shirt but other than it's really nice also note how the button has the scotland the lion rampant is kind of erased and then it's um there's also the uh crest of uh, sfa on there vapor tech was the uh, the technology of that particular time and of course on the back you see already how it's creasing up here so i have to pull the pull it down on the back it's blank but i have to say it's a really 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 fine scotland jersey uh one 
If I look, I mean, when, when I look at which Scotland jersey should I actually go for, should I go for an Adidas one? You know, before I realized that this is the only option, because I guess this was the one that was really, really mass produced because they qualified for the World Cup. But it was very clear to me it should be actually a um, Umbro shirt from the 90s. And then, yeah, uh, this one is the one, but I have, have to say, the, my ideal Scotland shirt would, of course, be the famous 96 one the, with the tartan all over pattern. But I also actually do like the 92 one, 1990. Yes, I think they're also all nice looking. The one thing, though, is that the one for the used in qualification in 97, the qualification group for Scotland was together with Austria and Sweden. Austria winning the group, but actually losing the head-to-head -to, -head to Scotland, uh, draw in Vienna, and then I think they lost 2-0 at Hampton, which was the only loss for Austria in that qualification. So yeah, uh, that jersey one in that uh, qual qualification, I have had to say, that's maybe the one that looks a teeny bit odd. But yeah, I really like this jersey, and I'm so pleased to have it in my collection. I already mentioned it, uh, this was the last Umbra shirt uh, for Scotland, ever since then they had a slight Italian excursion, if you like, before uh, teaming up with Adidas, which they have been now for quite a while and have also produced quite some interesting uh, shirts. Uh, as I said, this jersey was worn at that World Cup um, in 98. A World Cup that, in typical Scottish fashion, did not go as desired. You lost, wearing this shirt, the opener to Brazil. They actually played overall quite well, but you know, it's Brazil. It was always going to be a hard task. Uh, then the 2-2 two -two draw with Norway and then a 3-0 exit uh, to Morocco in a game that he probably needed to win. In the end, it would not have been enough anyway, because Brazil decided to roll over and let Norway win under some controversial circumstances. In any case, please let me know what you think about this jersey. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and I'll surely talk to you soon with another collection video. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!